Hey, um, I'm Misia Denea, owner of Hatha Holistics Integrative Wellness, and today I'm going to share a little bit with you about um, this book that I read a while ago. I picked it up a while ago. I haven't finished it yet. It's called Introduction to Tantra, A Vision of Totality by Lama Yeshi, and um, I think there's a lot of misunderstandings about what Tantra is, I think a lot of people are under the impression it has a lot to do with sex and eroticism and sensuality, and it does um, to a certain degree, but a lot of it is, um, it's deeper than that. And so um, I had this book when I was living in Washington, D.C. I've been living in California for a little bit over a year, and I went home to visit family and friends, and my mom has a lot of my books at her house still. Thank you, Mom, for storing my books. They're precious to me. Um, you know, I just wanted to highlight and share with you some of the things that I really enjoyed um, with the book and um, so you can have a better understanding what Tantra is. And maybe I'll do another segment, another video on Tantra so I can explain some more about it. But here's some of the things that I walked away with um, that I really um, thought were powerful. According to Tantra, heaven is now. We should be gods and goddesses right now. Everything we need is a union of all universal energy. Um, in order to be complete, um, we have to be aware of everything within us right at this moment. It is simply a matter of being able to recognize it. This is the tantric approach. Being mentally balanced and not being berserk. Um, desire and happiness. Our eyes crave to see interesting shapes and colors. Our ears want to hear pleasing sounds. Our nose actively sniffs out agreeable odor odors and turns away in disgust from smells that offend it. Our tongue seeks exciting new taste and our sense of touch is forever craving contact of one kind or another. This desire for sensory stimulation is, a deeply, in is deeply ingrained that we are isolated from sights, sounds, and smells and so forth long before we can we begin to hallucinate them. Desires are such an integral part of our life that most people would consider life without them to be a living death. So again, um, that's what Tantra is, kind of being aware of our senses in a very conscious way and knowing ways to satiate or satisfy all of these, you know, desires that we have. So um, let me share a couple more things with you. Um, the Tantric Solution. The practitioner focuses per, uh, penetrating brilliance of the blissful wisdom, wisdom so it can cut like a laser beam through all false projections of this and pierces right to the very heart of reality. Intoxicated by pleasurable sensations, we lose our awareness of um, totality and sink into the state of dull st stupidity. Um, yeah. So one more thing, there's one more little passage I want to share with you, um, liberating from self-cherishing. -cher As um, compassion for others replaces pity for ourselves, we discover hidden treasures of strength and wisdom within us. It can be said that merely professing this compassionate awareness is a type of enlightened experience. So I'll stop there, but um, I'll talk some more about this because I want to share a little bit more about what Tantra is so there's no misunderstandings. But um, email me if you have any questions, misiadenea at gmail.com and check out the description box so you can uh, find out some more information about me and how to stay connected with me. Happy New Year. Bye.